Hey y'all, I'm Arielle. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subby. I'm back like I never left y'all. Okay, so today is the look for day six. It is going to be a busted doll look. So this is the inspo I have going on here. Um, I have not been putting the, in did y'all see that dimple? If you pay attention, I do have a dimple. It only arrives whenever she feels like it, but she's there. I swear, but every time I try to, <laughs> every time, <laughs> every time I try to show somebody like, look, I have a dimple, she's shy. So, but I saw it just now and I know, in fact, I'll zoom in on it because I'm not crazy. Um, I did the edges, aren't they super cute? They look like doll edges, right? So that is the theme. I feel like that's why God gave me a big forehead so I can really experiment. I have a lot of room, okay? So we are doing the Busted Doll look. I do have these cotton balls right here. What you never wanna do is forget your primer, okay? So we're gonna start off with, you already know, maybe it's Maybelline primer. Ooh, she kinda came out a little weird there. Um, Y'all, this edge control is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh, it does not move. It really doesn't. Like in an hour, I'm about to come on here and I'm gonna show y'all, like it doesn't move. So I'm gonna do it at the end. But we're gonna rub this primer in while we start on the beginning of our conversations that if you watch me, you know, always come what? Full circle, exactly. So when there's a will, there's a way. You know, that's something I always say, right? Today, I felt inspired to listen to the playlist I started listening to whenever I had to get back into the gym. And one of the songs is that you have to be obsessed. Like, if you want it, you gotta, you gotta, every day. You can't have a day to where you're like, you know what? That's like, okay, have you ever ordered a pizza? And then you were like, you know what? It's taking too long to get here, Never mind. So it's like whenever you put into the universe that you want something, okay? Hopefully it's something healthy for you because I feel like some some of you are gonna be like, yeah, I really want this boy to like me. I really want, I, 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 like that's, it's not, it's not the real gold, okay? That's not what we're really after, okay? That's not really gonna, that's a whole, that's a person. That, that's different. You can't control what another person is gonna do with their willpower. So that's very pointless. That's counterproductive. We're not gonna focus on that. Um, I don't care what it is. Like, if it involves another individual, you cannot control another individual. But the individual that you can control is you. So, as far as what you do every day in order to start living your dream reality, okay? So, every day, you need to do at least a little something. You're not going to be 100% every day. That's okay. That's impossible. That's inhumane. Um, one of the songs on the playlist is like, you know, he starts and he says, repeat after me. I am a machine. I am not, I am not human when I step into the gym. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, but sometimes even machines can't be 100% every time, but they give all of the energy that they have. And then whenever, what do they have to do in order to get a full battery? They need to recharge. That is your self care routine. That is your, you know, bath your your bath time your journal time you know just your downtime just for you and you right so that you can recharge and get back to 100 percent that that way whenever you get back into getting back into whatever you got to get back into you can do that okay so if you got what i was saying you got what i was saying if you weren't if it didn't resonate with you it just wasn't meant to okay so as y'all can see the skin is skinning um, she just has her little blemishes here and there, but that's okay because that's very human of me, okay? It's very mindful and thoughtful of me to have regular skin, all this glass skin talk. I, don't, I, I, I know it's possible, you know, some girls have it, proud of them, love them for that, you know, I love that for them, but this is what I have right now and I love that, right? People keep calling my acne freckles and I started calling them strawberry freckles because they keep calling it freckles. <laughs> It's not freckles, it's acne scars, but it's okay. It kind of, you know, it, it's, yeah. Let's get into the, let's start with the eyebrows. So y'all know I gotta start off with a very sharp, okay, eyebrow pencil, okay? That's the only way to go. If this don't zoom in, I was like, you better zoom in on that pencil. Um, but yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, 
to be obsessed with your dream life is to be obsessed with the lifestyle that you want to live now i feel like it's just so natural to think yeah like i want to you know a husband and like you know kids and like you know like a family and like and that's that's fine and dandy but we're talking about the life that you can live with you and you only because it's very important that you know you can have a great happy full life with just you like you as your core person like you know you don't always have to have a best freaking friend okay now it's good if you have one but if you don't it's not the end of the world even if you don't have any friends it's literally not the end of the world like those will come and go those will come and go and some will stay till the end but most will come and go as far as friends so if you're someone and you're like i don't have any friends it's okay that's all right this that means that this is a season for you because i feel like whenever you tell somebody that like oh no i mean you should have at least five friends i mean what's wrong with you it's like okay first of all that's kind of rude okay like maybe i just don't you know there's this quote and it's like whenever you put a flower or a seed in a pot and then the flower starts growing sometimes it either outgrows the pot or oh oh my god that was the universe you see that or it just doesn't like the soil of that pot and it doesn't end up growing the way it's supposed to but then you put it in a different pot with a different type of soil and it blossoms and it blooms and it looks gorgeous and it thrives so stop you know thinking that it's you you know like or you know now sometimes you are the problem but other times you just need a change in an in environment um a change in the people around you because honestly y'all like even something as simple y'all know i gotta always relate it back to doing my makeup S something as simple as me doing my makeup like at first i was like oh like people are probably gonna think this is a little weird like i don't really know anyone else that does like cosplay makeup or like you know very dramatic makeup or anything like that so i'm like posting it and i'm like oh god like no one i know in real life does this like are they gonna think i'm weird like low-key like keep it low and at the same time i really don't care um but it is a thought we all have these thoughts it's just a matter of how strong are your positive thoughts right so i was like let me follow more people that do cosplay makeup now guess what i feel like i'm a part of a community i don't feel as like weird you know what i'm saying you just gotta find your people they're there they're somewhere there's eight billion people in the world there's no way you're that you know abnormal that you don't relate to not a person on this earth there's just no way it's just not possible I'm, it's just not okay let me finish these brows y'all i'll be back I was reading something the other day and this guy was like god has already blessed you it's up to you to be open to receiving those blessings to actually like opening your eyes and realizing that you have everything that you need in order to do what you want to do which is what i was saying in the other video i don't even know which one it was at this point there's just too many but he was like you know if you if you are a praying type of person a praying individual and you're like god if god's will be done i get this and this happens or this happens right it's like god has already given you the ability to do what you're praying for it's just up to you to finally have the discipline consistency and bravery to do so um as you guys can see i put white in the inner corners and then i put the yellow corrector outside of that because i really wanted this bright under eye for this doll look so i am literally about to carry that white onto the eyelid just like that because i really do want that bright under eye i mean under eye under and uh, eyelid you know because we need a good base for the eyeshadow okay 
so that's what we're gonna do i am gonna be back when this is all blended out i'll just time lapse it let's do that Okay, y'all, so you know the drill. Now that it's all blended out, we're gonna take the same beauty blender that we were using for our foundation. And we're gonna blend this together. See how it creates a nice gradient. I always show you guys this trick because I hope that you pick it up. It literally saved my life from when I like over corrected my face. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like the product absorbed into the beauty blender. So it's always gonna blend um those colors together if you use the same beauty blender you were using for your foundation and just do the same thing on the forehead see that it really just blends it together y'all and if you ever like blend the corrector to way too much the corrector away too much you can take your other beauty can i speak you can take your other beauty blender and just go on top of that okay Take my breath away. I kind of like want to do this pimple, but I don't want to get my edge full of foundation. So, okay. Now, see how it's like, I kind of like don't like the shape of this. So I'm going to take this beauty blender and make it more of an angle. And we still want a really bright under eye because we are going to be a doll, okay? So we don't want it to look too natural but if i was just doing like a b i probably would just like set with a like powder that's like my skin tone or do a powder um like get a fit me skin pressed powder and make sure i blend that um out but we're gonna leave that middle line right there for the contour because we do want it again to look unnatural because we are going to be a doll again okay like why am i repeating myself like like okay so this is what we're working with y'all we have a nice gradient going on now you see that yeah okay y'all it's time for blush and we are packing it on there we have a nice bright base to work with that's what i wanted we are not going to touch the eye for the blush because we're gonna be doing a whole eye look okay so we're gonna take all of these except for this one because it's a little plum i don't want a plum i want a pink okay so we're just gonna combine all of these together and really just pack that on like a lot like almost like you're like oh my god <laughs> like you're doing too much okay i always say these are not tutorials but yet i proceed to tell y'all how i did it but this is not like a this is how you do this. This is like, this is how I did this. I feel like that's what a tutorial is, but it's fine. Okay, so as y'all can see, it looks like I have way too much blush on. That's what we want, okay? Yes, yes, so fun, so fun. Putting blush on is just so fun. Don't, don't skip the nose. Get it on the nose as well, okay? Get it a little bit on the forehead. Watch the edges. For me, I have edges. So if you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. And the chin, of course, y'all already know I'm chin, forehead, cheek, cheek. Y'all know that's how I do it. Okay. I actually want the chin a little lighter. So I'm going to take this beauty blender and use the same beauty blender i used for my concealer because yeah it was like too dark or something i don't know okay yeah okay okay before we okay before we do anything else let's just look you see the creasing right there make sure that creasing is blended out because we are about to set and we don't want any creasing right here Okay, and then I'm even gonna fix this. I'm just blend it a little more. Okay. We should look crazy at this point. That's okay. All right, y'all. So I actually took a little break just to give myself a break um, because I had to eat. I was freaking starving. So we're actually going to just re-beat any creases 
that we see. Okay, y'all. And honestly, I'm just, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm having a huge discovery here about myself and that discovery is that I do talk a lot. Now this is why I'm here. Y'all know I talk a lot, you know? I uh, so I used to think, you know, like I used to be like I think I talk too much. Like I was like I think I talk like too much. Like to the point where like nobody can keep up with me. <laughs> You know what I mean? But then I was like, okay, well, I can work on that. I can just like be more mindful about oversharing. And you know, when I'm talking to people, make sure I'm taking deep breaths. Maybe like just let, let the moment be silent and just like really let that tension just, you know, be there, right? And then I was like, wait, I can literally make a YouTube channel and I can talk as much as I want, right? Like people get paid to talk, you know what I'm saying? At first I thought it was a, like a bad thing because I was just around people that didn't want to listen to me, to be quite honest. Like, it's like, okay, well, damn. <laughs> like, like I was saying earlier, and y'all know everything I say always comes full circle. That's one thing about me, okay? Go where you are loved and go where you are welcome. It's not about you. It's about you changing your environment, okay? So clearly, I have a, um, a lot of blush on, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm gonna be using my airspun powder. I'm not gonna be using the circular big pound of powder thingy that's in here. I am going to be using one of my little cutesy, little very dainty. Um, ooh, y'all, this heater feels so good. I'm so glad I have this because I'd be getting cold. Okay, and I don't wanna wear like a sweatshirt because it's just gonna get full of makeup. So, but anyways, we're gonna take this, we're gonna do here, okay? And then we're gonna Okay, we're gonna set right on top of that blush. Y'all know how I like to do and with that. Oh my God, I just got it on my edge. It's okay. And what that is going to do is it's gonna make it look like that blush has just sunken right into the skin. It's gonna look natural and it's gonna look like I have a natural rosy cheek, okay? But also at the same time, remember we're, we're about to be a doll, which I low-key just forgot. So we're not trying to have it look natural anyway. Make sure we set on top of the eye area. Okay, and then we are gonna set on top of the middle streak on this nose because we want that to be prominent whenever we start doing the doll-like features. Okay, and as you can see, this powder is doing its job. It's very blurring. Okay. Logical thinking is just something that you lack. So, what you even mad for? Looking like a stick up in your ass. Oh. I'm not your mommy, nigga. Find a new hobby, nigga. But pick up the lobby, nigga. I'm not gonna kill your car. Come on, Lay. Push through. Push through. You should have paid my rent. Go get up. <laughs> okay, so we're all powdered today. Okay. Oof, my God, my hair is itching me. I can't. I can't wait to take these twists out. Like I literally okay. can't. I can't. I, girl. Okay. <laughs> y'all, that's my little sister. Don't mind us. Don't mind us, y'all. Don't mind us at all. Um, but this is me. This is my life, right? And y'all are just in it right now. And honestly, you can think the same way. The world is your oyster. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with your paintbrush? What are you gonna do with your uh, your free will? <laughs> okay. Y'all, sometimes I be watching my videos while I'm editing them, I be dying laughing. I be like, girl. <laughs> like, I will be watching myself and be like, dang. <laughs> like, I really just like said that, like, okay. All right. Oh my God, that scared the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that's just my fridge, you guys. I don't have a dying squirrel in here. You know, that's what it freaking sounds like. Okay, and we're all set. Um, thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Per usual, I love you for being here at this point and at this moment. You are appreciated. You are loved, and I'll be back whenever I'm dusting this off. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna just dust off the top of the lid because we are about to get into this eye look. I'm super excited about it. 
feel like it's gonna just like pull the whole thing together i mean really we didn't even really start yet <laughs> okay so yes you guys go where you are loved okay i really think the things that are natural of you should not be things that especially if they're not like harming you or like actually hurting anyone else and it's just something that like other people get annoyed with then you're just around the wrong people you're just around the wrong people and sometimes being around the wrong people can even stop you from doing the thing that you have been obsessed about and you've been wanting to you've been dying to do it but that you've been stopping yourself you've been procrastinating because you're like too worried about what other people are gonna think and you're like you know oh they people think this is lame people think this is corny honestly and i'm saying this wholeheartedly with my full chest like i don't want to be around people who can't be corny like if you're too cool to like i don't know like dance or something like oh my god i just need you to get away from me like all love to you but it's it's not for me go where you're loved okay go where you're accepted because i just can't i'm not gonna tolerate that people who be like oh like that's late like oh my god take that chip off your shoulder it's okay like i feel like people who were perceived as weird or like nerdy when they were like in high school or whatever those are like the coolest people like those are the most fun people those are the people you want to be around those are the more creative people okay so all right this is all dusted off i am gonna time lapse this eye look because we gotta get this rolling we gotta get this ball rolling okay Okay, y'all, so the eyeliner is not even, and that's gonna have to be okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little fluffy brush right here to brush off this bright ass setting powder. Okay, as y'all can see, I reapplied my Vaseline because y'all know I don't like chapped lips. Okay, like I just can't get up here with no chapped lips. Like that's so not, like this is so much better, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush this off, okay? Ooh, y'all i was literally talking to my little sister earlier and i was like oh my god i made like an extreme commitment doing a halloween look every day like oh my goodness like i am i am tired i am i'm exhausted <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna remember this month for the rest of my life yeah when i was 24 i did 31 halloween looks you know i did a halloween look that way like i know i can make you know consistent videos like i kind of just challenged myself to see like how committed am i how committed are you so it's kind of like me against my past self like you know okay this is so what we're gonna fix it y'all know i'm gonna fix it come on don't 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 doubt me don't doubt me you know i'm gonna fix it okay so i am gonna start bringing it up into the edge a little bit so that we have some you know some color going on up here as well even though it is a little off you know okay yeah we are gonna have to touch that edge a little bit that's okay okay it's like why did i even put foundation on at this point but it's okay it's for the foundation it literally serves a foundation okay okay and then we're just gonna bring this down onto the nose Okay, we're gonna brush up this way. And okay. So y'all already know, oh my God, this pimple, it's like dried out, it's okay. So y'all already know that for the bottom, if you watch me, for the bottom of my face, we are going to do the fit me trick. Let's get into it. This trick is foolproof, okay? get your fit me this is in the color 360 mocha i normally do this with a color that is darker than my normal skin tone so that it can serve kind of as a contour but also as a means of 
um, evening out this white setting powder. So we're gonna dip our brush, just pack, 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 pound, 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 pound into that pressed powder. We're gonna get off the excess and just watch the magic happen. Isn't that magical? I love it. I love it. Literally in a oh my god. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see what Fit Me does? Hmm? That's a that's that's a damn pressed powder right there. I Walmart, Target, get into it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the way that just blends it together like that. Like, look at this. Wow. Wow. I'm like, it's magic. <laughs> Okay, so with the chin, I like to go very light because I want it to be a brighter area. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, as far as under, the, okay, well, forehead too first. It's me. I really should have just put the fit me right here instead of that dark brown. I mean that that light powder. That's all right. See, it's okay because it, it created like a gradient. Now, as far as under the eye, we're gonna tap once lightly and then just because we want that still to be fairly light. Same with the nose. very lightly but we still want that contour to be very prominent as it is okay okay y'all see that do y'all see that that's so amazing okay so i actually need to pee really bad um but we're gonna finish contouring the nose so let's just do that first okay we're gonna take our bh cosmetics broke down old palette because look if it ain't broke i mean it's really not broken i mean well it is broken but it says it's a two-year expiration, so we're still good, I think. Honestly, I don't know, don't care. Um, so we're gonna use this color here, and we are going to bring that into the crease by our eye and our nose bridge, I think it's called, okay. I'm just gonna dust that up, okay. All right. And we're gonna like try to take that harsh line out honestly if it never goes away that's fine i really don't care i'm gonna bring this up we're going to brush it into our crease just a little bit okay go under the nose with it okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little, a little circle i actually don't know if they have this on the picture but I like a little indention right here and then I like to use my pinky I dip it in the wax and I just go all the way down until I feel like the cute little circle part of my nose okay and then what I like to do And I just like to leave that on there just to set. So I'm gonna go use the bathroom and everything. And then I will be back and we're gonna start the under eye part of this look. Yeah, I didn't even know I didn't press time lapse. Hey, you guys, I'm looking more and more like a doll. Okay, so now we are doing the white under um, eyeliner and I like left a space for it. Um, 
we are gonna like loop it out and that is probably gonna complete the eye besides the lash so let's just do that y'all whoo you know i'm about to i'm about to listen to another song on that playlist because i'm getting <laughs> i know exactly the one i need to hear y'all i didn't come this far to only get this far i'm not gonna give up okay it's 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 when you're tired and you don't give up that's when it mother counts that's when it counts okay so we're gonna keep going okay it's gonna be worth it in the end oh gosh she said please <laughs> i'm telling you girl don't sleep on it now one day you're gonna be like you know what let me y'all this is the playlist right here okay if you ever need some motivation okay oh my god y'all look like a doll literally huh oh girl yeah it's like those old antique dolls y'all is that what it's giving like don't even talk to me i'm giving antique it's giving one and one and one of a kind look look at this eye. thank you i said okay so now we're gonna do this eye don't give up y'all whatever you do finish through don't you give up or just start you ain't even you ain't even started yet to give up if if you watch me like you need to go ahead and just get started what i've been telling you to get started on which is something that you know you need to get started on i just feel like i just need to keep saying that just get started get it going okay oh my god y'all every time i start like talking to y'all positively and stuff and like motivating y'all while i have my makeup look on like something crazy i'm like i feel so crazy because <laughs> i look so chic and just like so different like you've never seen something like this before because it's on me and i've never done it before and i'm one of one just like you're one of one one of a kind uh-huh i'm number one hey i'm the only one don't even waste your time trying to compete with me no one else in this world can think like me no one in this world can think like you because no one else is you okay <laughs> this look is hilarious okay so here we go i gotta edit all these looks tomorrow and post them literally that's not cheating if I wasn't with your ass, yo. Okay. What you even mad for? Looking like stick up in your ass, so. I'm not your mommy nigga. Yeah. Okay, y'all, what? Like, look at this. Ooh. Okay, so next thing we're gonna start doing is the crack above the brow and all of the stitchings and the cracks on the chest as well. So I'm gonna take my straps down. Ooh. Okay, we're getting intimate. And basically, I am going to time lapse this. Oh, y'all, I'm too excited. I think I'm gonna do the freckles. I'm gonna put a little bit more blush, do the freckles. Y'all gonna y'all about to see what I'm doing. Y'all about to see. Let's get into it. Okay, like what? This is so crazy. Okay, 
so she has some shading going on y'all know how i feel about shading it kind of adds that extra dimension that we do not have already so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take y'all already know my bh cosmetics palette i'm gonna take the darkest shade and i'm gonna see what that does okay we really want there to be some dimension and honestly doing this i'm thinking i need to do black but what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to put some brown around it just to give it some like extra dimension. That way when I do the black, it'll be that much more like uh, what you call it, texture to it, you know, because we do want it to give, oh my God, I just got dropped on the floor, literally, literally just got dropped on the floor so not cool where's my jewel okay i almost feel like doing and posting a lot of looks is kind of like counterproductive for like the algorithm i really don't care okay i really don't um maybe i do since i'm talking about it but like consciously i don't really care um so this is what we're we're working with you guys OMG. Guys, just a reminder, you are the sun, your emotions are the clouds, okay? All right, so I kind of had like an issue with like holding on to my emotions because I feel like growing up, they weren't acknowledged. So now I'm like really like protective over them to the point where I'm like, no, these are my emotions and I'm going to let them be known and I'm gonna like remember that emotion forever. <laughs> and it's like, okay, that's kind of like hindering. We're just supposed to, we're supposed to observe and let it float, not absorb and let it build up inside of you. And then next thing you know, you're bitter and cold, you know, like let's not do that. Next, we're going to take this brush right here. I'm pretty sure it already has black on it, but just to be triple sure, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this palette by Milani. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that everywhere we can as far as a good contouring. So we're gonna put it here. And that really does it. Oh my god, I look I look I look bruised. OMG, you guys, I look bruised. It's not funny! Where's my jaw? Where me jewel? Where's me jewel? There we go. You see how that corner right there is kind of bright? We're gonna darken that. Okay. We're gonna do the same right here. Okay. Y'all see that dimension? Same here. We're even gonna add some here. Just so it's not just like so neat you know i just do such neat work you know we don't want it to be a neat broken we want it to look like i fell and i got popped open okay like so so here i'm gonna do some dimension right by Okay. Some shade in here. Does that look cool or what? And we didn't even do the cotton yet. That is going to be the finishing touch along with the lip and the hair and the clothes. Baby, they're not gonna be able to tell us nothing. Okay, let's see. I am just gonna put a little shading above here. Just a little bit, just a little bit closer, honey. Same here. That kind of added something. I'm telling you, shading always does some kind of trick, y'all. Some brown the shade like fan this out so it's not as blunt you always want to blend make sure your brushes are clean or has the color that you desire 
and always do it with like a light hand okay you're very gentle we're fragile over here see i'm i'm broken you gotta be fragile okay oh my god i forgot to put my lashes on <sighs> all right ladies and gentlemen we are at the home stretch yes indeed we are at the home stretch what i do with my lashes is i bend them like inwards or outwards and you know i don't really want to go inwards because they're already bent that way and then i twisty and i turny and i twisty and i turny so that it can just not be so stiff when i put it on because sometimes it's harder to put it on when it has like a own, its own shape to it so i like to just like give her some love and attention um and then what i'm gonna do i, don't, I can't even tell which lash is which at this point so i guess it doesn't freaking matter so we're just gonna put this one where's my mirror it's right here just gonna put this one on y'all you know we're, we made it y'all i was really tired today but every day i make it every day i prevail proving that i am stronger than what i thought you can do the same okay let me put this on shut up Let's see. Okay, yeah, the lash is supposed to go over the little black swoop. So, whatever. I'm not even gonna think too much into it. Remember, just keep going, trust the process, don't rush it, because it's a lot of things I don't like about the look, but I'm not done yet to even judge, you know, what's what's happening. So I don't wanna do that prematurely. I ain't gonna lie, I love a good lash glue, I really do. But this hair glue will always do it, like, every time, every time. This hair glue does it every time. My gosh, this look is crazy. Okay, so now that we have the lashes on, what I'm gonna do is before I start doing the cotton, what I wanna do is add a pinker, more pigmented blush because that's what I'm seeing that the girlies have. And I do have a very pink blush right here by none other than Remiel London, okay? And it's in the color Wild Card. Ooh, I love it. So that is what we needed, like immediately. Immediately, yes. Immediately, yes. Like that's exactly what the I was looking for okay immediate yes oh yes it gives that artificial doll look and i love that you might hate it but i love it deal with it you know okay let's start doing this cotton
Okay, y'all, so we're about to do some SFX for, like, content, basically. So I am going to get some red splotches on me like I didn't murder someone. And I'm going to do that by dipping my paintbrush in some water. Dab, 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 swish, 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 dab, 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 swish, swish, swish. We're going to put this in this Bobby Suka water activated palette. We're going to use this red. Oh, my God. I should have put the red and the orange again. We're going to use this red color, and I'm going to get the brush really wet soaked in that red i want to get like a pool in there and i'm gonna you see that that's what we want we want it to be like blood just splattered on us <laughs> ah, 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 ah. it's like oh my god what happened someone because I couldn't find my freaking jewel. Yeah, I'm just going to put it. It's not funny. I done told you it wasn't funny. Cause it's like it's like it got cut out like you know you want it to look like oh my god what happened girl i cut this bitch because i couldn't find my jewel
buy. All right, so that's done. That's interesting, okay. And now we have the strawberry syrup. So I'm basically gonna like, oh my God, I'm gonna like put it in my mouth. gonna do the videos and I'll be back okay it's just strawberry syrup if it's a little gross I understand this is the finished look thank you so much for watching thank you for being here this was quite the journey I'm literally gonna just wipe all of this off really quick I really am very uncomfortable I'm covered in syrup but I just wanted to come and you know bid you farewell happy halloween it is october 6th this is the october 6th look so this is the sixth look okay we're going strong we're going hard we're making commitments and we're sticking to them make sure you make those small micro goals and then sub goals and then big goals dream big you gotta be thinking big gotta be thinking big don't think small anything is possible okay with that being said <laughs> Thank you so much again for listening, watching, and existing. I love you. I'm Arielle. Until we meet again. Bye.